hello, this is uh, Brother Kevin, and I'm glad to come here. Forgive me, I got this little my little cat toy. I'm going to toss it to the side here. And I would like to welcome you to Reformation and Revival Now. But this broadcast is coming uh, via Ustream, uh, Wellsprings Ministries, Pastor Ruth and Joe Verona. They run this U Ustream site, which they have allowed me to use to be a blessing to many of you. Um, I'm very excited to come to you today, and I don't mean that in a, you know, everybody says I'm always excited. But I just finished praying. And even though I prayed yesterday, uh, the Lord's prayer vigil, I didn't really take a lot of time for my personal time with the Lord. He had to remind me that I did because I said, oh, Lord, did I break the vigil? Did I? And he says, no, you didn't. But in my prayer time today, the Lord shared with me the insignificance of partnership. And I don't want to preach that today, but I just want to say to you, those of you who are watching me, will you come into partnership with Jesus? Jesus has got a calling, a ministry, a work for you to do that nobody else can do except you. And that doesn't mean you're special. It means he's special in you. You see, the Bible says we're fearfully and wonderfully made, and that is a true statement, one that we should really consider. But if I was going to be honest with you, I might be fearfully and wonderfully made. But whoever made me has to be more fearful and has to be more wonderful. So I would just rather focus on how wonderful he is to make you and I partners with him in his work, in his kingdom. We've been praying for the body of Christ this week. And I want to ask those of you, since we have now started our new year, and I forgot to, to wish all of you a happy new year. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. But I want to say happy new year and also uh, raise your faith uh, to a high level now. Because we're winding down. The billion so revival harvest is on. See, there's a last day harvest where the gospel has to be published to every nation, known nation, an unknown nation but it has to be published to every nation first before the end truly comes so we have a work to do and God is moving around the world but he hasn't given up on the United States I want you to pray for the body of Christ right here in the United States yesterday we prayed for pastors okay and today I want to pray for the little people now when I say the little people they're not little of God they are no bigger or smaller than you and I. When we think about President Obama, we think about somebody that's a big, important person. Well, the homeless guy in the woods right now or on the street is just as big to God. But I want to pray for the little person in the body of Christ. To me, these people are very special. Some of them are street walkers. Their ministry is not known. They lead people to Christ. And some of them have little job time jobs. Some of them are even homeless. These street walkers tell people about Jesus and go places you and I would never dream to go. I want to pray for them today. I want to pray for that person that knits and sews uh, items, maybe quilts, and puts I love you on them and gives them to somebody just just because I want to pray for them today for that Sunday school teacher that has three students and she pours in all her might to those students to make sure they get the foundation of God's word I want to pray for that janitor who has the one of the most unthankful jobs because God's people are kind of nasty. I've been a, a church janitor many times. God's people are not that clean. <laughs> I just tease it. Or well, anyway, uh, I want to pray, pray for that person. I want to pray for the people that do all the unsung jobs in the body of Christ. The prayer warriors. I'll tell you something about true intercessors and prayer warriors most of their work is hidden and unless you are satisfied with Jesus 
it's not a ministry you can really do. There is that there's a fluff side of prayer ministry. I've seen a lot of shouting and a lot of dramatic stuff and a lot of fanfare. But most of the real serious intercession are done by people, a person or a group of people that really are what they do is unknown. But they bombard the kingdom of heaven, the throne of throne room of God. For some of you watching me right now, I want to pray for them. I want to pray for those people who are armor bearers. And what I mean by that is, these are people that serve ministers. They cook, they wash cars, they carry suitcases, they give bottles of water to the man or woman of God. They do administrative things so that the man or woman of God doesn't have to. These are the unsungs. These are the unknowns. And they need you and I to love them. I tell you one of the best things you could do to love them is to pray for them. Some of them should be in positions of leadership. But found that they could be more effective. being unknown and helping others be who they can be. They've taken the lesser seat so that others can prosper. They will die thankless. Their reward will be only in heaven. They will be prayed for today. I want you to pray with me for them today. If I didn't have people like that in my life, I wouldn't be standing in front of this camera right now talking to you because of these unknowns. These are the people that give incredible amount of finances. Everybody thinks they're poor. They're, some of them are millionaires living like got the old car. Sometimes struggling. They're struggling not because they don't have the money. They have lots of it. They're struggling because all that money is spent blessing them. These are the unknowns. Let's pray for them today. I know I gave a big intro, but they deserve your love. Jesus loves them. Why don't you love them too? And pray for them with me. Father, Lord, we lift up the unsung in the invisible, in the unknown, in the body of Christ. Because I know that they, that they please you, Lord. I know that they give praise to you. And I just want to praise you, Lord, for them. And thank you that their work right now, their work, is making a difference around the world. And I praise you, Lord God, even if what they do, Lord God, doesn't seem to get any further, Lord God, than what is seen in the church service. I thank you, Lord God, for the for the Marthas, the Marthas, Lord Jesus, who serve and are even criticized for serving. But if they didn't do what they did, Lord God, a lot of things in the church would not be done. Oh, I praise you, Lord God, for our Marthas, that nobody knows that gives their lives to the service of the kingdom of God. Oh, Lord God, this is praise unto you. And I praise you for the Marthas and for the Marys. Because if we didn't have the Marys that sat at your feet in intercession and prayer, where would we be? Oh, Lord Jesus, I praise you for the Marys. I lift up the name of Jesus and the name of the Father. I worship you, oh, Lord. I worship you. I give you the praise, oh, Lord. And thank you for these precious children that without them, Lord God, nothing would get done. Their reward in heaven is great, but I want to praise you for them now, Lord God. Let their blessings come upon me and those who are praying for them because today we've recognized what you have always recognized and ask that you would be worshipped by their life. And Lord, receive their sacrifice of worship today and let them not be discouraged. 
I ask, Lord God, that you would home in their gift and their service to reveal the power of the kingdom of God through what they do. Let the manifestation of Jesus Christ be powerful within their lives. Be awesome within their lives. Lord Jesus, let the small thing that they do, Lord God, that little note, that little card written to say, thinking of you, and they mailed it, Lord Jesus, that postage, and just to come to the door with a little special card that said, I love you, thinking of you. Hope you're having a good day. Lord Jesus, use this great ministry. Use, Lord God, the heart that would just want to send an encouraging word. Father, let the revelation of your kingdom, Lord God, use these gifts that you give to these unsung. Lord, I want to lift up, Lord God, before you every caregiver, every mercy giver, unknown. But, Lord Jesus, bring the revelation of Jesus Christ with power through their ministry and through their mercy and through their kindness. Let Jesus be revealed. Let Jesus be revealed. Bless every armor bearer, Lord, with the strength and the prophetic anointing to be the armor bearer for that pastor, for that evangelist, for that minister, for that missionary, for that prophet, for that apostolic ministry. Oh, Lord Jesus, bless our unsungs with the revelation of Jesus Christ and the power in the ministry. Asking you, Lord God, though they wouldn't. Asking you, Lord Jesus, that you'd meet their need. Asking, Lord Jesus, that you would meet every need in their lives. Some, Lord God, are not telling anybody that they are not getting their bills paid. Some of them, Lord, their lights are being turned off because they put an offering in the plate. And they knew they were wrong, but they just couldn't stop themselves. Lord God, I want to pray right now that their need be met. I want to pray right now for that widow, Lord God, who made a sacrifice so that missionary Lord could go. And now, Lord Jesus, she doesn't have a few things. Lord God, be her supply today. Provide for her, Lord Jesus. Provide for her. Oh, my God, provide for that janitor, Lord Jesus. He was frustrated, Lord God, because, Lord God, some people went and just tore up a bathroom. And he just said, I just did this. Lord God, I ask you to provide for him, Lord God, the team he needs and the encouragement he needs. Lord, provide for our unsungs, provide for our invisible people in the body of Christ who do thankless jobs. Oh, Lord, provide for their every need and meet them where they're at. Some need finances, Lord Jesus. Some need encouragement to continue on their journey and in their ministry. Oh, God, I speak a blessing to them, not only of encouragement, but meet all their financial needs, Lord, in the name of Jesus, according to your wealth and glory, according to your economy, Lord Jesus. And Lord, forgive the sins of your servants, for many of them have given up. They've said, what we do, Lord God, don't matter. And they've stopped. Lord, I want you to forgive the sins of your children, whose jobs, Lord God, are, un are just, just, they're just not replaceable. I'm asking my God in the name of Jesus that you would stop your servants from sinning against you by pulling back their precious gift and pulling back their time of intercession and pulling back their service and pulling back their administration and pulling back their teaching gift in Sunday school. I ask you to have mercy, Lord Jesus. I ask you to forgive them, Lord God, because some of them have been discouraged because they try to do the work of God, but they have a spouse or but they have children, Lord, that give them such a hard time. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would forgive them for wanting to give up. And, Lord God, refresh their hearts and let them hear your voice. Forgive their iniquity. Forgive their sin. But most of all, forgive them for giving up on you, Lord. Give them the strength to continue. And, Lord, give them the ability to release every person that has seemed like an obstacle to them, that has seemed like a hindrance to them, that even want them to give up. Lord God, refresh your servants. Let them forgive. Let them release every person, Lord God, that has wounded them. Some are not even going to a church right now, though they're still blessing your people, but they're not going because the pain's so bad. Lord, heal them now in the name of Jesus. My God, in the name of Jesus, heal them now. And Lord Jesus, keep them from the temptations that will spoil their work. 
Keep them from the temptations, Lord, that would not allow them to engage with the body of Christ. Keep them from temptations that would make them throw away their gifts and their abilities. Lord, let them receive, Lord, encouragement for what they do. And Father, I pray that the love of God would constantly fill their heart. For Satan cannot touch them, Lord, when your love overflows. Father, I'm asking for a mighty river. A mighty river of love to come upon these precious unsungs and unknowns. Let a river of joy, a river of peace, a river of righteousness, a river of provision, a river of protection be upon them. Keep them, Lord Jesus, from temptations of leaving their ministry to do something more glamorous. Because what they do in the spirit is more important than glamour. Lord, let your servants not be seduced through glamour. But let them be faithful to do what you've equipped them and empowered them to do, Lord God. Because being in the right place in the right time will keep, Lord God, Satan off of their case. And able, Lord God, to touch them. But let them be content with you, Lord Jesus, so that the love will continue to flow and Satan will not be able to put his hands on them. I plead the blood over them and speak the word of my testimony that Jesus is Lord over the unknowns and Lord over the unsungs because he's their father and he's their provider. You take that, Satan, and you run in Jesus' name because a train of God's righteousness is coming through for his sins. And Lord, I commit them to your trust. I commit them, Lord God, with thanksgiving. Be praised, be worshipped, be honored, my God, in the name of Jesus. Be lifted up, Lord God, in their lives and be lifted up over their lives. I pray it and I seal it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe you know an unsung. Maybe you know an invisible person in the body of Christ. Maybe you know an intercessor. Call them up today. Tell them they're appreciated. Tell them you love them. Tell them that God hasn't forgotten them. Hallelujah. God bless you. As you know, we're in day number, we basically have seven, eight days left. We're not long before the restoration um, prayer vigil will be fulfilled. I want to thank those of you who have labored with us. Whether you're few or whether you're many, doesn't matter, because this is not going to stop. We are going to continue to engage. But I still want you to have just now seen me, just come aboard, come on, we got seven, eight more days left, so come on and be a part. Come on and take your place in the body of Christ. Come on, come on, and tell somebody, let's engage in the Lord's Prayer together. This is Brother Kevin saying that Jesus loves you, and I do, and he loves you, unsung, invisible person. You think God's not seeing you, he sees you, and you're a favorite with him. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.